Hey, how you doing? So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create black and white images using calculations in Photoshop. So this is quite a relatively simple process to do, and it can give you some really, really nice dramatic, contrasty black and white images. Okay, so the first thing we want to do then is come up to image, and then we want to come down to calculations. And what you'll have here is a selection of source one and source two. Now, the idea is, is that we want to select different channels. And when we do that, we get different variations. Before you do that, make sure that your blending mode is set to multiply. That's really, really important. So what you can do is you can start with red and then come down to the bottom and see what red and red looks like, red and green. So you can go through all of that process and just find out which particular blend you like you're going to get completely different results every time. So take your time with this and really work out how contrasty you want your image to be. For instance, that's going to be way, way too dark. So let's go to red and let's select green. So what we're going to do is when it says result at the bottom here, yours will probably be on new channel. Select new document and then select OK. And what you'll see is that Photoshop has created a new document there. So come back to your original. And we're going to do the same again to so come to image and then go to calculations. We're going to leave the channels on red and green on my specific image. So the same ones you had before, but this time we want to select from multiply. We want to select lighten and then select. Okay. Now you'll see there we've got another document. So we've got our two documents there. So we've got a light version and we've got a dark version. And what we're going to do is put them two together on this original image. So come to the first document that you created and we want to select all this. So you can use the shortcut control command A and then control command C to copy. So control command A, you can also do select A for select all, control command C to copy or you can go to edit and copy and then come to your original image and then press control or command B or you can press edit and then paste so same thing then come to your second document that you created do the same thing so control command a control or command c to copy come to your original image control or command b and that will paste everything so go to your layers panel and on your top layer so the layer two we want to double click on that and this is going to open up our layer style and we want to select down here blend if and we want to select gray then we want to come to the triangle here hold the alt or option key down and then click and drag and you see that this triangle has now been separated so we want to pull that all the way to the edge there come down to the underlying layer do the same thing so you hold an alt or option key down click and then we're going to drag that up all the way to the end as well select ok and that then gives you this lovely high contrasting image to finish it off, what you can do is come down to the bottom here and just select a curves adjustment. The curves is going to help you just get some contrast in the image and also target some of the shadows, some of the highlights and some of the midtones. So you can see down here, this is the blacks. I can bring some detail back down here. You can also use this button here, this finger button and just select the particular shade that you want to adjust. That can help, it takes out the guesswork of, of what you're doing. So for instance, if I wanted these trees to come back, I can just click and then I can just push up or down. And that's just gonna give me a little bit more detail within them areas. So we can just tweak this, help us get a little bit more contrast. There we go. Click on the little X tool there. Let's come to our history and let's take a little snapshot picture. And you can see there's a before that gives you a really, really nice high contrast black and white image. I hope you've enjoyed that. Take care and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.